In this video, I'll show you how to set up Flutter and run your first app without Android Studio. We're not downloading Android Studio because it's heavy and slow, especially for low-end PCs. First, we need to install Flutter. Just type Flutter SDK download. Click on Get Started. Now click on Install Flutter. Then install manually. Deselect Windows. We'll download the Flutter SDK. Just download the zip file. Okay, we've downloaded the zip file. Just right click and select extract all. I'm gonna install Flutter in my C drive. Now after the file is extracted, we we'll look for pin folder inside Flutter. Then copy this path. Search for environment variables and open it. Click on environment variables. Now go to this path and click edit. Then click on new and paste the path that we just copied. Click OK, OK, and OK. Now open command prompt. Now run this command. This command will confirm that we successfully installed Flutter. Ok, we can see that Flutter 3.38.1 was successfully installed on our computer. Now we'll install Java JDK. We're installing the Java JDK because Flutter uses it to build Android apps and without Java, the app won't compile. So search for Java JDK. For this video, I'll download JDK 21. Just download the Windows X64 installer. Open the installer setup. The Java JDK 21 is installed. Now you can open command prompt and run this command to check if Java was installed. And yes, we can see that the Java 21 is installed. Okay, now we'll download the Android command line tools. Just search for Android SDK download. Open the Android Studio page and scroll down. We'll download the command line tools only. Flutter uses this to install the SDK without the full Android Studio. Now before we extract the zip file, 
will create a new folder inside the C drive and name it as Android. Now we can extract the files inside the Android folder. Now we got a folder called CMD LAN tools. Inside this, we are going to make a new folder and name it latest. We are going to move all the files inside this latest folder. Make sure that your folder structure looks like this. Now inside the Android folder, we will create a new folder called Platform Tools. Now we will go to Edit Environment Variables. But first make sure to copy this path. Android, then CMD Line Tools, then Latest, then Build. Just copy this path and go to the environment variable and paste it. Now similarly copy the path of the platform tools folder as shown in the video and paste it just like the previous one. Now click on new here, create a new system variable. The variable name should be android underscore home. And paste the path of your android folder. Click on new again and this time Name the system variable as android underscore sdk underscore root. Paste the same path of the android folder, then click OK and OK. Now open the command prompt and then this command. This command installs the platform tools android sdk and build tools for Flutter. Now we'll run Flutter Doctor command. Flutter Doctor confirms that our setup is ready to run apps. We can see that the Android SDK version 36 is installed, but we've not accepted some Android licenses. So to fix this, we will run this command and accept all the licenses. Just press Y and hit enter. Now let's turn the Flutter Doctor command again. Now we are ready to build and run our first Flutter application. So let's open VS Code and create a new folder.
Now we'll open a new terminal. The first command is flutter create. Just write flutter create and then the name of your application. The flutter create command automatically generates a fully structured flutter project. It includes all the necessary files and default starter code. Now type cd to change directory and then the name of your app again. Now we'll run the flutter run command to run the demo application. It will ask you to choose where you want to run the application. For now, we want to run it on Chrome, so we'll press 2. Click allow. Now you can see that the Flutter demo homepage is running on Chrome. Now we'll run this app on our Android device using a USB cable. Make sure that USB debugging is turned on. Now we'll run the flutter devices command to check if our Android device is connected. And yes our phone is connected and we're ready to run the flutter app on our phone. So we'll run the flutter run command to run this app on our phone. When I run this for the first time, then it might take some time, as it downloads Gradle and builds everything from scratch. But don't worry, after this it becomes super fast. It took me around 10 minutes to download all the files and our app has launched on the phone. Now let's try to run it again and see how much time it takes. As you just saw, it just took me around 15 seconds to launch the app. And that's it, you've set up Flutter, installed everything you need without Android Studio and even launch your first app on a real device. The setup is clean, lightweight, and now you're ready to start building GLabs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.